we get in today's video, I want to welcome Angelo to the AOA. Check out uh, Angelo's channel here. It's G.I. Joe AT. Check him out. Give him some likes, subscribe, watch his videos. They're very cool. So my froggy stuff actually had a very good idea. And it is putting a, putting your outfits in a binder with page protectors and, uh, and cardstock. I thought it was a pretty good idea. I picked up this binder at a thrift store and it's supposed to be for scrapbook stuff. It didn't have any of the scrapbooking material in it and I just saw the all these empty uh, spaces so I thought that it'd make a great storage solution for my G.I. Joe outfits. And a lot of these long uh, sections in the front here and I thought it'd be a great, great place for pants. And this other selection had a, a, couple, a lar couple large pages, so I stuck a couple of my uh, jumpsuits in there. Then there were several that had like little uh, four, four squares. A lot of the jackets and some single pair of pants fit there pretty well. I also have a section for my uh, tiger stripe ghillie suits. And there's more areas for uh, some pants. So there's a lot of different... Uh, sizes uh, that I could use to uh, store my outfits in here. Uh, this section is now uh, t-shirts and there was four little sections toward the bottom and two sections up towards the top. And that worked out pretty well. Uh, some of these I had to put uh, clear packing tape on to keep the uh, pants from slipping out. But um, this seems to work out pretty well and it's nice to be able to just grab up this, uh, this binder and uh, look through it to find uh, outfits when I uh, change outfits on my action figures. I might end up uh, using this one sp uh, specifically for military clothes and find another one for uh, civilian type clothes, but this will do for now. It also helped me kind of organize things. I didn't realize I had so many of these pants. These are from the M60 uh, Vietnam Gunner during the Classic Collection era. And uh, all these uh, all these outfits and like that fit in here pretty well and because they're uh, fabric I could zip it up and uh, compress it all and it's not going to hurt it any. Uh, towards this back they had a bunch of smaller stuff so I was able to stick some uh, hoods in here and also some of my uh, hats fit in this, these smaller sections. So this was pretty cool. This was my uh, storage solution for a long time is just putting uh, outfits and bags and uh, stuff in them in this um, this uh, to uh, tote. I also uh, put my boots together with rubber bands and then stick them in a bag too so they're easy to find. Uh, I'm still trying to find a solution for my boots but as far as uh, clothing I think I want to switch to these binders and uh, store things in binders because it seems like it will work pretty well. I might have to find a deeper tote that these binders will fit into. But I really like this uh, storage idea. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you, how do you store your outfits, your boots, and uh, other gear? Be interesting uh, to find out. I'll do a video in the future of uh, some of my other uh, storage ideas and storage solutions. See what we could come up with. Anyways, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to collect, inspire, and create. See you in the next one.